Hey, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will give you a full walkthrough to learn how to use Elementor Flexbox containers. And I will show you an easy way to practice using containers yourself very easily in a test environment, which is provided by the developers of Elementor. So first, let me give you a quick introduction about this new container feature. And therefore, I go to this page and the URL is also added in the description of this video. And recently, Elementor announced that in the near future, a new feature will be added, which is the Flexbox containers, as you can see over here. This new improvement will make your website load even faster and allows you to work more efficiently with Elementor. The regular way, which we are all used to, is to design your pages and posts by using sections, intersections, columns and widgets, as I have also have explained in more detail in previous tutorials. And the container basically replaces the sections, intersections and columns by combining those into one thing, which is the container. And this will give you much more flexibility. So let's play this video quickly to see what Elementor has to say about it before we go to the online test environment, which is called the playground, as you can see over here. So now I click on this link over here to watch the video. We're excited to introduce the Flexbox containers experiment. Containers are the future building blocks of Elementor, which will transform and improve the way you build websites. Leverage the power of Flexbox layout right within Elementor's editor to create unique, pixel-perfect, lean designs quickly. Since containers affect the foundation of your website, we're introducing it as an experiment that you can manually activate and switch off if needed at any time. It replaces the current section column structure, but don't worry, you'll still keep your existing sections, intersections, and columns and be able to edit them. As with all experiments, we recommend trying them out in a staging environment and not on a live website. Once you activate the experiment, you'll be able to add containers to new or existing pages by dragging the container widget or adding it with the plus symbol in the editor's canvas. When you add a container using the plus symbol, you will see a number of different layouts you can choose from. So what can you do with Flexbox containers, you ask? You can drag widgets directly into the container and start building without worrying about sections and columns. Order the widgets to your liking. You can choose your direction, alignment, how they wrap. Hmm, not that kind of wrap. You can even nest containers. But that's not all. All these controls are responsive, meaning you can create entirely different layouts for every device without having to duplicate your content, therefore using fewer elements on your page, making your website lean. Also, turn containers into clickable links in just a few steps. And once you're ready to transition your website from sections and columns to containers, you can use a tool we've developed especially for that, the converter. So do it with ease in a single click. Since Flexbox containers are a new way to build layouts with Elementor, we've created a playground for you to get a feel for it before you activate the experiment on your website, as well as educational material. And most of all, enjoy being creative. This is Shiri signing off. So that was the video. Now let's go back to the website. And over here, you can see the button, visit the playground. Now I will click on it to enter the playground. So now you can see that the Elementor editor has been opened and this is the normal way as you always see it when you have it installed on your WordPress website. So what they have done is they have lessons. You can see this is lesson one of 10. And if you scroll down, then you have lesson two of 10, lesson three of 10. So there are 10 lessons that you can do to learn how to use the containers and all its features and everything. So you can get used to it. You can get familiar with it. Highly recommend it if you want to learn how to use the containers. So let me show you how it works. Start playing. If you click on this button, you will go to the first section, which is lesson one. And this is your mission is to change the direction. And you can easily change the direction of your items from being stacked in a column to a row in just a few clicks. And now the first step is click the container with the shapes in it. So let's do that right away. If you hover over it, you can see this yellow mark. So this indicates that you need to click on it. So let's do it. Click on the container. Now go to step two. In the layout tab, open the items section. 
So we are already in the layout tab. Now we open the item section like this. And three is change the direction to row. So over here you can see direction and there we need to select row. That's the first icon you can choose. So now I click on it and you can see that now the direction is changed and now they are all in a row. So that was the first lesson. Now go to the second lesson. This is your mission aligned to flex end. When the direction is set to row, you can change the alignment of the items in the container to the top, middle or the bottom of the container. So the first step is to click on the container. So let's do it. Over here you can see this yellow mark again. This indicates that you need to click on this container. So I click on it. The second step is in the layout tab, open the item section. So we are already in the layout tab. Now we go to the item section. And step three is align items to flex end. So over here you have the align items option. And there we need to set it to flex end. That is this third icon you can choose from. So I'll click on it. And now you see it's like this, but you can also see how it looks when you use the, the other options. So you can play around with it, but for now let's go to the third lesson. And that is your mission add equal spacing around. And it says you can also easily and equally adjust the distance between your items and the container's edges. First step is to click on the container. Second step is in the layout tab, open the item section. So layout tab again, item section. And the third step is to justify content to space around. So here you have the justify content option. And now we need to set it to space around, which is this option, as you can see, as you hover over it. So I click on it. And now you see that it's aligned like this. So let's move on to the fourth lesson. That is your mission rep content. It says, while in row, you can set your items to rep so that the items drop to the next row and fit in the container comfortably. First step is to click on the container. So I'll click on it. Second step is in the layout tab, open the item section. So this is the layout tab again. Go to the item section. And now you need to click on rep. And over here you can see the rep future. You can set it to no rep or you can set it to rep. So that's what we need to do. So I select this icon over here by clicking on it. And now you see it's being displayed like this. So the next lesson, which is lesson five of 10, be a hero and try it out. Change the hero containers direction so that all the items are in a row with the heading, text and button stacked on the left. So now the explanation on how to do this is being hidden so you can play around yourself. And if you don't know how to do it, then you can click on show me how and then the steps are being displayed. So the first step is to click on the hero container. There is this container, as you can also see in the navigator. It's uh, called hero. So click on the hero container, then go to the layout tab and open the item section. Change the direction to row. So this is the direction option again. And now we set it to row. And now it's being displayed like this. Now we go to lesson six, flip content with ease. Take the second container and switch its direction. So now we need to switch the direction of the second container. If you want to know how to do it, you can click on show me how over here. And now the steps are being displayed. So the first step is click the second container. And that is this one. As you can also see over here as it's called second container. Now. Go to the layout tab and open the item section. So we need to click on this again. And now we need to set the direction. We need to change it to reverse row. So over here we have the direction option and we can select reverse row. And that is the third icon. So I click on it and now you see that it's being displayed like this. So that was the sixth lesson. So now we go to the seventh lesson. 
that is called build your nests. And it says, let's create a layout that includes nest containers with different layouts. So this is how it looks like right now. You know how to do it. You can click on show me how again. And now you need to click on the gallery container. So, so that's this container over here. And in the layout tab, open the items section. So we click on items again. Now you can change the direction to row. So we go to direction again, and over here we set it to row, which is the first option. So if you do this, now it looks like this. And the fourth step is align the items to center. So over here you have align items, and over here you can also set it to center. By clicking on this icon, now you see that it's being displayed like this. So that's cool. Now let's go on to the eighth lesson. So we're almost finished and the eighth lesson is stairway to success. Try aligning the middle square widget to the top of the container. And it also gives you a hint, which is adjust the layout of the specific widget. If you want to know how to do this, you can click on show me how. Click on the middle image square widget and that is this one. Now I go to the second step and it's in the advanced step, align self to flex start. So I go to the advanced step, go to the align self option. We need to set it to flex start like this. So now we go over to the ninth lesson, which is mobile responsive layout. So for this lesson, we need to set this image below the text over here and the button on the mobile view. So first step is to select the container. Now move over to the mobile view. You can do that by clicking on this responsive mode icon over here. Then you can set it to mobile. And over here you can go to the advanced step and then set the order to end. And as you can see now the text is over here with the button and below that you have the image. So let's go over to the next lesson and that's lesson 10 and that's the last one. It's called it's a wrap and it says when you arrange items in a row, they won't always fit to one row. Let them wrap to the next row to fit nicely on the screen. You'll also have to adjust the heading so it's width it's 100%. Bonus, you can hyperlink each of the cards with the HTML tag. So click on show me how. First step is click on the cards container. So that is this container over here. You can also see it in the navigator. It's called cards. In the layout tab, open the item section. So that is this one over here. Third step is click the wrap button. So over here you have the wrap option and this is no wrap and the second icon is wrap so I click on it. Now we'll go over to the fourth step. That's click the wrap and link title widget and in the advanced step set its width to 100%. So I click on this widget. Now I go to the advanced step and over here you can set the width to full width 100%. Now it's like this so the text is uh, above the containers. The fifth step is click the add hyperlink container. So let's see. That's this container over here. Add hyperlink. So that's this one. In the layout tab, in the container section, set the HTML tag to A. So go to the layout tab. Over here you have the HTML tag. And now it's set to default, but we need to set it to A. And as we do that, now you can see this option appears, link. And over here you can add any link you want to. And the link will be added to everything that's in this container. That's how it works. So one more time, you can click on container, go to the HTML tag, set it to A. And then you have the option to enter the link. So now, as you can see, you have made it. Congratulations. So this was 
very quick run through of the full training but of course you can take your time you can play around with it you can use all the options you can get familiar with it it offers a lot of benefits but you have to take some time to learn and really know how to use it so therefore this test environment is very highly recommended and of course besides the lessons you also have the option to click on this purple plus icon over here and now you can set up uh, containers you can use preset structures like this for example so with this structure you have three containers inside of a container so it's like this so this one is small this one is white and this one is small too and you can basically just add widgets images for example you can learn how to set up complete structures and also learn how to use everything on mobile for example the tablet view or the mobile view so make sure to check it out the link of the test environment is also added to the description of this video so if you found this helpful please make sure to let me know by hitting the thumbs up also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you found this content interesting much more will be coming up so thank you for watching i hope you have a nice day and i see you again in the next video